Hey, good morning. And uh, never thought I'd speak this language, but who got it? I feel like I've just discovered a huge secret. And that secret is the country that I'm in, Suriname. <laughs> This is an incredibly interesting country, and I am not exaggerating that at all, trust me. It is, at the same time, the most African country outside of Africa, while also being the most Asian country outside of Asia. There were huge immigrant groups that came here from India, from Indonesia, from China. The current president is a man of Indian descent. And they all speak Dutch, or at least a good part of the population, because it was a Dutch colony. That didn't happen very often. Recently, they had a drug dealing president that had an arrest warrant from Interpol hanging over his head while he served out his presidency. And then he got re-elected. This country is what my dreams are made of. Ah oh, man, I'm really excited for this one. Alright, so this is the capital and largest city. Is he, is he good? I'll see you good, yeah. Taxi yeah. driver? Yeah, I'm from Suriname. Okay. Spot is your name. My name. Yeah. My name is Jimmy. Jimmy, okay. Yeah, I drive a taxi. Driving a taxi? Yeah. Okay. I look for money. You're looking so, for money, okay. Yeah, Suriname is hard to try to find money, you know? Okay, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. But, uh, no, it, it love. Oh, you look? Yeah, it, it look new. You better need a land. <laughs> nah, uh, America. Oh, you from it, America? It, it come from America. You come from New York? Yeah, but you're, apparently your English is very good though. Yeah. Everybody here speaks uh, English and Dutch? No, Dutch is two countries speak Dutch. Okay. Wow. So this is a very special place. Yeah. And Chinese? Chinese? Yeah. No, no Chinese. My father is Chinese. My mother is black man. Your father is Chinese? Yeah. My mother is black. Wow. Yeah. Okay. That's that's interesting. Yes. Third number is small. I'll see you small. around. Yeah. yeah. I'll see you later. Okay. <laughs> see what I'm talking about? That man. Half Chinese, half black. Sure enough. Okay, so as I was about to say, what I'm in right now is Paramaribo, or as the locals call it, Parbo. And it is the biggest city, basically the only city in the whole country, and it's where almost everybody lives. So what we're gonna do right now, is we're gonna take a little walk, maybe get some food, see the sights, and talk to people. You know how we do around here. Life takes you in mysterious directions sometimes. You do things that you just never expected to do. Like trying to learn Dutch. As you may have seen, <laughs> Suriname has a very interesting language situation here. And as a fan of languages, I love it. But it's a little bit difficult. So, Dutch is the main language. It's supposedly spoken by like 60 to 70% of the population. But there's another important language alongside it called Stranantongo, a tacky tacky. It's like the street Surinamese language, as they call it. Both of these languages are spoken all over the place. Now, I've been trying to learn a little bit of Dutch. My Dutch is terrible. Please forgive me if you're from the Netherlands or Suriname. <laughs> but I'm gonna try today. Hey. So apparently not too far from here is a well-known Indian spot. You can get like roti and all these other tasty Indian foods. I think that's a good way to start off the day. Let's go. Hello. Rope rum. Let's go check it out. Sadly, some of the only Dutch I know. Mondkap verplicht. 
Put on your damn mask. What's famous? Yeah. Uh, what is uh, famous here? Roti with chicken. Roti with chicken? Yeah. Okay. Any roti with chicken? You eat roti here. Pepper? Uh, you mean spicy? Yeah. Uh, in Beijing. Yeah. Okay. That's all? Yeah, that's all. Okay. Water? Water, water. Okay. Water? 75. 75. Alright, well. Wow. He's not wearing it. Right, we're gonna try some uh, Surinamese roti. Should be a little bit like what uh, my friend Vishal gave me back in Guyana. Add this flour. Don't give all my things. I don't know if they're understanding or I'm just confused about my Dutch. I would be confused. It's a pretty confusing language. Een vraag. Ik gebruik het woud te eten het vlees. Hoe ik eet. Weet je? No, 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 no. Uh, you want to know who you must eat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, you can put it in, yeah. uh, break it, yeah. you can stop it, you can eat it. Okay. You need this? No, 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 no. Yeah, that's, that's for, that's for the foreigners. I had this liquor. So a question from my friends from India, or my indo guyanese indo Surinamese friends. Why is it that this seems to have become like the most popular Indian dish? in the Guyanas. I know you have a lot of different food in India. Why this one in particular? That is one Dutch looking church right there. Looks nice though. Waar is de winkel? Waar is de winkel? Man, Dutch is a funny language. And it's actually maybe not that hard to learn because a lot of the words sound weirdly similar to English. You know how you say, what is that? About this dot. <laughs> you know how to say, he is here, hi is here. <laughs> but you gotta be careful though, sometimes they trip you up. Fuck. 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 What you call me? Fuck. Right behind this fence here are my friends at the Venezuelan Embassy. Maybe I should go in and try to get a visa. It only takes about three months for an American. All right, subscriber just ran, uh, recognized me randomly on the street here. What's your name again? Uh, Alfaro. Alfaro. And you're Tom. Yes, I am Tom. <laughs> that was my name. Alfaro just uh, saw me walking around uh, blindly on the street, yeah. like a lost puppy, and uh, it's gonna take me towards the water. We are a Dutch colony. Yeah. Uh, we're a colony of Holland for many years until 1969, I think. So, that must have been uh, Yeah. <laughs> so since then, I speak Dutch. Yeah. You speak Dutch. <laughs> I'm Beijing. I'm Beijing. Okay. Thank you. So everybody here understands Dutch? Because I've read some, not everybody knows it in the whole country. Um, well, if you go to the to the interior, people yeah. that live uh, uh, not usually in, 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 in the capital, yeah. then those people don't know Dutch, they only know um, their own language. Yeah, and here's the water side. The National, National Assembly. Yeah. Uh, Obviously. You have a good one. Thanks a lot. But done. All right. Ah. 
turned into too much of a celebrity. But people are so nice. Loving the Surinamese hospitality so far. And so here we are at the Waterkant. Basically like the, uh, the waterfront, <laughs> the harbor. This here was the former center of the Dutch colony. And unsurprisingly, if you look at the architecture that surrounds me, it looks extremely Dutch. In fact, the architecture is so Dutch that if you were to carefully photograph this street and then take out the Surinamese flag, you could probably fool someone into thinking it was Amsterdam or Rotterdam. Although I don't see any coffee shops. Uh, what is what is it? Oh. Oh yeah. Oh, it's uh, a war. Oh, this is talking about uh, the civil war that Suriname had. I only recognize like a few words here, but I got like Thai, Thai. This had the uh, Binnenlands conflict. Hi. Hi. You resign the Netherlands. Netherlands. Mensa Netherlands. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Hey. Uh, American. Oh, okay. Oh. okay. Yeah, yeah. Do a lot of Dutch people come here to Suriname? Oh, yeah. Feel Mensa Netherlands. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. Okay. Vacation, also live here, big okay. part. Yeah. Okay, nice, yeah. 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 I don't see any other tourists. No. No. Yeah. Oh man, I'm not gonna lie. Suriname did a really nice job with this area here. This is exactly the kind of stuff that tourists want to see. Guyana, I love you, but you gotta set up something like this in Georgetown, you know? Get that tourist money rolling in. Hey. Oi, what is, uh, what is this? Uh, what is this here? It's about uh, the history? Yes. Okay. Look, uh, I'm practicing my Dutch. That's okay. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah, so... Uh, it's a very beautiful language, but it takes a little time to learn it. Beautiful, yeah. All yeah. that, all that <laughs> and all that. It's, uh, yes. very nice. Yeah. Yeah. I see evidence of our later target for today. Parbo beer. It's supposed to be really good. Gotta go find one. So this nice little tour of the area that I'm walking through is actually the grounds of Fort Zeelandia, which was the site of a decisive battle between the British and the Dutch back in the 1600s. So, in the 1600s, the Dutch strange as it may sound, were the most powerful country in the world. They were so powerful that they were able to boss around the British and basically take their colonies. And that's exactly what happened here. The Dutch and the British fought a war, not a very long one, over Fort Zeelandia over there. And the Dutch won. And after that war, uh, the British and the Dutch signed a little treaty. Now in that treaty, and this is a very interesting little bit of history for every American. <laughs> An agreement was made between the British and Dutch for the Dutch to give up their holdings in North America so that they could keep Suriname. Because at that time, Suriname was way more valuable to the Dutch. Oh, the sugar plantations. What could we do without those? <laughs> and so they just gave up the territories known as New Holland, basically the Northeastern United States, over to the British. Because they thought, nah, what the hell are we gonna do? with a place like New Amsterdam. It's cold. Eh, what could we grow there? Huh? Ik ben een vlogger. Vlogger? Yeah. Oh, dan moet je zo omlopen dan. Hier is, hier is, hier is uh, Bevela. Bevela? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Waarom Bevela? Yeah. Almost walked into the parliament of Suriname. Right? Yeah. Good. 
work here? No. Is America here? Yeah. Okay. Very beautiful. Okay. Hi. So fast. Yeah. I think the uh, barbell. Yeah, it's right here. Oh uh, yeah, barbell. Yeah, yeah. Ik, uh, ik van hoed. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So much walking and talking. I'm hungry again. You want to go get some Chinese food? Of course you don't. Lata Pakhan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Apparently there's enough Chinese people here to warrant a message <laughs> in uh, simplified Chinese characters. Like, take your garbage and put it back at your own house. More or less. Alright. I can see a Chinese place coming up right over here, across the street, from the Shell gas station. Let's do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, Okay, but now. I'm not sure where this drink comes from, but I'm about to try it. Oh man. It's like the sweetest thing I've ever drank in my life. Okay, so this apparently is like the distinctive Surinamese Chinese dish. It's like lo mein and xiao mein, but they have like their own version of it. You got the noodles, but they put three different types of meat on it. They got the chicken, the pork, and uh, some kind of sausage thing right there. Looks pretty good. We'll definitely be filling. I approve. All right. I am very full. No more sour in the means food for a while. You, you speak uh, Chinese? Yes. Are you there? Yeah. Like Nihao? <laughs> yeah. Nihao, it's yeah. a Mandarin from, Ch from China. Okay. I speak uh, Hong Kong, Le Oh, Le Yeah, Le Okay, 
So again, even if you don't know any Chinese, you can always recognize this character. I mean, it's full, fat, lucky. Yeah, lucky, lucky help, yeah, lucky, right? Lucky. Yeah, lucky. the most important character yeah. in Chinese. Yeah, uh, I lived in uh, China and Hong Kong. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, uh, Hong Kong is very really good. My nose, Hong Kong, from China, just no, no. But but for 1979, yeah. but Hong Kong was really good. Hong Kong, you know, and England, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hong, Hong Kong was very nice. Yeah. I don't know what's happening now. But yeah, but no Chinese with the communist with the wrong. Yeah. <laughs> I was I was there around 1970. Oh, 1970. Yeah, and wow. 1975 I came back in Holland and from there. I'm a new 60 year. Born Nam Chau. I don't, oh, okay. I don't smoke too. Um, no. um, 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 yeah, I, I do kung fu. Okay. Kung fu. Kung fu. Okay. 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 Kung fu. Chinese kung fu. This is high key, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, here, here's security. Yeah, yeah, security is yeah, right yeah, here. Security, yeah. Okay, yeah. Thank you, Bill. Thank you, Bill. Yeah. 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 Yes. Watch out! Yes. Watch out for the thieves. Uh huh. Turn her up. Okay. Sit down. Sit down. Don't sit. Don't sit. See you next time. Next time. Yeah. My Cantonese is a little bit rusty, so I didn't quite understand everything he was saying. But basically, that place is like the center of the Surinamese Chinese community. You have portraits of all the important people, all the important Surinamese citizens and members of Paramaribo hung up there. And uh, it sounds like they take care of people of need as well. So the Chinese community in Suriname has a very long history here. And it's actually a very big community that make up something like 2% of the population. And if you include the more recent Chinese arrivals, who tend to speak more Mandarin than Cantonese, it might be even higher than that. The Chinese Surinamese community first started arriving here in the 1800s. Like the Indonesians and the Indians, they came to replace the labor needed on the sugar plantations here in Suriname, as well as do some other jobs. <laughs> messing up my monologue. All right, so I've only got one thing left to do on my checklist, and that is have a parbo beer, which I've heard so much about. And uh, thankfully, I actually do have a friend here in Suriname already, thanks to my old friend Vishal back in Guyana. <laughs> he uh, has a friend named Amat, so he's gonna come over, and take me around. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you? Hi. There you go. This is my friend also. This you is your friend? Here. Yes. Hi. Oh, you, oh you, live, you live around here? Yeah, I live here. You live right here? Oh, yeah, nice. In front. Okay. Small city. Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> so, Mark has taken me outside of Power Marabo. Yes. We're now in Wanika. Mm. And, uh,. Is it like a suburb? Town? Yeah, suburb. Suburb, okay, yeah. It's like a very Javanese suburb. Yeah. What's up? He, he just saw you today. What did you think? You saw me today? Yeah, I saw you today. Wait, On the wait. streets? 
Oh, and around the president's area. Yeah, oh, right, yeah, that, that was you. <laughs> <laughs> I was asking you, like, you were Yeah, if I look yeah. good. That's yeah, so funny. Good. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and now you're like, <laughs> such, a, such a small world. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the you know, like, <laughs> world. <laughs> What's your name? Jew. Jew. Yeah. Jew. Jew. Okay. That's a difficult name, but okay. you may make it short. Yeah. Jew. Jew. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. My friend the Jew. Yeah. <laughs> but they usually accuse me of being. Yeah. He told me to come go and explore the nature next to his house. Let's see. That's beautiful here. Yes, man. And the moth is still here because he said there's dogs here. Yes, we, because uh, we got flat uh, people who walk when you know that uh, at home. Oh, okay, so the dogs just run around. Yes. Crazy it's dogs. Crazy, yes. <laughs> crazy hunde. Oh, I love it. This man has a day job. <laughs> Downtown Suriname. Then he comes back here. He has a little farm. The animals. And then keep in mind, we're only like 15 minutes from the center of the city and the port. But we, yeah. we, are, we are born in Nikeri. Oh, in Nikeri. Yeah, Nikeri. Yeah. Next to Guyana. Next, Next to Guyana. Guyana. Yeah. Oh, that's, so that's why, yeah. yeah, that's why your family knows yeah. the Shaw family. Yes. We speak uh, Dutch yeah. when we are in uh, Tanampo. Oh. When we speak our language, that is with older people. Okay. Your family still speaks Japanese? Yes. Kamu berbicara bahasa? That, that name, you... That's the language of Indonesia, but our language ours is our village language. Oh, okay. It's different. Different, yes. Okay. Too much different. Tell me your age one more time. 47. This man is 47 <laughs> years old right here. <laughs> he looks like he's like 32 or something. <laughs> Indonesian genes right there, I think. <laughs> Look at this American capitalism that has invaded Suriname. You got a McDonald's. Yeah, there's no McDonald's not. in Guyana. In Dorsum? No, they don't have one. They have a Popeye's though. So I gotta put this on camera. This is my first Harbo experience. First, first time. Yeah, very first time. In your life? Yeah. Do you remember your first time? <laughs> I cannot remember anything. <laughs> Suriname experience. Alright, cheers. That's pretty good. Better than Heineken. But do you know who's the owner of Fargo? Who's the owner? Heineken. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> you win again, Heineken. <laughs> First Javanese food. Yes. Alright, so what do you call this one? Bami. That's the bami. That's the bami. Yeah. Me yeah. is noodles, right? Yes. Yeah. What about this right here? It's like a sate. No, this sate, sate and this is lumpia. Lumpia. Oh, lumpia. Yes. This is the nasi. Yes. This is nasi ramas. Ah, uh, nasi, nasi nasi ramas. Yeah, nasi ramas. Okay. Nasi is rice. This dose is for you. You have to taste it. Okay. Yeah. 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 Me call it sate. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's good. Hetus, Chicken. Hetus lacquer. Hetus lacquer? No. So the goal with this one, yeah. you gotta mix everything mix together. Yeah. Okay, so that's, the, 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 that's how you see? do it properly. Yeah, there you yeah. So then, yeah. Yeah. So don't drink too much parbo so that you forget how to do that. <laughs> we'll yes. see what happens. Yes, okay. But yeah, you have a good night. Okay, you too. Thanks for driving me around. <laughs> Take care tomorrow. Yeah. Have a good one. Don't ladder. Okay. And we're back. All right, what a nice little day we had today in Parabo, Suriname. Had a little walk, met some friendly people, got a taste of the different cuisines from the different Asian communities that you have here. Ah, what a fascinating, diverse little country this is. I love it. What you have right here, the diversity of the human experience. That's pretty much why I travel. It's a beautiful thing. Anyway. Suriname's great. I really like it. And I can recommend the country heavily to all of you to come and travel here. I think you'd really like it. It's got really nice people. 
and it's pretty safe. You can walk around without issue. Anyway, I gotta get some rest. I'm gonna be waking up pretty early tomorrow, which is not my favorite thing to do, but it's gonna be worth it because we're going on a really cool trip. Going to the jungle, going to the interior, the Binnenland. So, you too, huh? Don't stay up too late. Stop playing your video games and get some rest. All right? I'll see you tomorrow. Goedenacht.